Here's the problem. When you get in a habit of saying, I'm gonna do it next year, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I know a lot of you guys are sitting there going, I'm gonna do it after the holidays. We've got Thanksgiving coming up and freaking ant whatever is coming into town and we're gonna wanna go and golf and we're gonna wanna do some turkey hunting and shoot some skeet and you're putting it off. I'm gonna start in December and then guess what guys, December's gonna get here and then you're gonna start. January sounds like a better time. And then, well, Q1, dude, we got a lot of trips coming up. We got a lot of this, we got sports and kids and and it's like, dude, the reason that Porter has a good perspective is with what we do, with me coaching people inside of Digital Landlords, I get to see people from all walks of life. I get to see people that are 17 years old or Porter that did it. And it's exciting, dude. And I also see people who have done, have lived the life that I just described to a T and are realizing and finally waking up because they read a book or they had a conversation or enough's enough or their wife left them or whatever it is. And they're like, enough's a freaking enough. And I got to make a change. And I'm here to tell you guys there's never going to be a right time and if you keep putting off changing and escaping the rat race guys you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be 50 60 70 years old and have nothing that you've done nothing money is not the only thing but what you guys need to realize it's not even about money escaping the rat race is about freedom i always i'm like hey the number one priority you need to have is getting rich when i say rich i define that as multiple things i define being rich as being free being financially free not having to work for your money, not having to worry. Oh, can I go golf today? Because if I don't, if I go golf, I'm not going to be able to hit this appointment. Can I take off Thanksgiving? Because if I do, I might not make money. You are not free if you have to go to work. You also need to be time free. You need to make sure that you do not have to work for your money. You do not have to trade your time for dollars because a lot of you guys are making good money. But if you stop working tomorrow or heaven forbid you get in a car accident or go into a coma or whatever it is, you are going to not be able to take care of them and you're going to have to make a decision of which one you're going to give attention and it's going to come crumbling down. So you need to get financially free. You need to get time free where your time is not tied to the money you are making. And I don't care how much you make per hour consulting. It doesn't matter. You're not going to get rich trading your time for dollars. And you also need to get location free. You need to be able to make money wherever you go in the world. There's too many ways and there's too many opportunities and people are too comfortable with doing business online for you guys not to to have money coming in and I don't care like Porter he's always going to be doing the farm but he can also and that's what he's doing he's building an income stream that's completely online so if he's not on the farm he can still be making money and while he's on the farm he can be double dipping so guys the number one thing in my opinion who can be a complete douchebag sometimes but I feel like I know a thing or two about this category is guys the number one priority you need to have is getting rich and it's not just money you need to be financially rich and free you need to be time free and you need to be location free and if you can do those things, you have escaped the rat race. There's a guy named Brad Leia, Brad Lee. He's got his podcast called Drop and Bombs. And he had this TikTok that I saw like a million times and it pissed everyone off. And he's like, dude, life starts when you start making 20K a month. Life starts at 20K a month. And I'm like, I get what you're doing. And that's, that's such an arbitrary number, right? 20K. Why not way more than that? I would argue life actually starts when you become free. Life starts when you wake up and you go to work because you want to go to work. And if you don't go to work, you're going to make just as much money as if you went to work. Well, you're going to make as much money as you did yesterday. And if you go to work, maybe you'll make more, but you're going because you want to go. You're going because you're building something. You're going because you're trying to create something, not because you have to go. And guys, I'm telling you, when you wake up and you do it because you want to, it is a lot easier to wake up at 530 in the morning if you choose. It is a lot easier to put in late nights if you choose. It is a lot easier easier to be disciplined uh, because you're the one that's making the calls. And so I'm here to tell you guys, I try to get on sales calls once in a while with Kyle, people that want to join digital landlords, people that, you know, they saw a YouTube video and they're like, dude, let me take the steps. Let me get in there. Let me get in with some players, dude. Let me go start making some cheddar. And I listen to these stories and I'm like, dude, I freaking love it. I love everything I'm hearing. I love that you're sick and tired of being broke. I love that you're sick and tired of saying no to vacations. And I hear all these just stories and it's like terrifying to know that that that's how it could have been. And guys, I don't know how I can somehow, I wish I could record these and not be disrespectful, but I hear some of these stories and I'm like, you're how old and you've done 
nothing. You have no money in savings. You are in how much debt? And like, it is terrifying. That's the bad news. But the good news is you are the same as everybody else. If you think that your story, or you think because you have $50,000 of debt, that's going to scare me, dude. I had $60,000 of debt a couple of years ago, and I've been freaking trying to make this work, right? I, I feel like I've had a pretty good mindset for a long time. You are not alone. Every single person is in at some level, the rat race that I just described. Not all of you, but most likely you are in the rat race, which is you have to keep working to pay your bills. And then as soon as you get ahead, you get your bills a little higher. And then because of that, you have to keep working even more because if you stop, then you can't pay the bills. And it's this freaking cycle, dude.